Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 servers, and specifically we're going to focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. So as I mentioned, uh, this is going to be specifically focused on network cards. Uh, we're going to go over both types of cards. Uh, you have your FLOM or your Flexible LOM, um, and you have your PCIe version, which you see we have laid out both here. We're going to show you both of them, and we're going to actually install both of them to show you the steps of how to do that. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing in this video. And at the very end, we're actually going to put up a list of a bunch of compatible types of network cards for the DL360 Gen 9. And I'm sure there's probably some others out there. So if there's something that you didn't see on our list and you know it works, hey, help the other users out and uh, drop a note in the comments just to help everyone out. All right, so let's uh, go over a couple things to get started. Let's go over the, uh, the speeds and the different interfaces that are compatible. So let's start with the speeds. You have 1 gigabit, 8 gigabit, 10 gigabit, 16 gigabit, 25, 32, 40, and all the way up to 100. So those are the different speeds. So what types can you use? Well, you can use RJ45, which is just another way of saying Ethernet. You can use SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP, and QSFP56. So now we know a little bit more about the speeds and the types. Um, let's go ahead and do a quick close-up. We'll show you some of the uh, different types, and we'll in particularly show you what the FLOM looks like versus the PCIe. And personally, I'm a big fan of the FLOM just because it saves one of your PCIe slots. You can use that for a plethora of other things that you're going to want. Um, so I'm a big fan of using the FLOM when you can. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll do a quick close-up, and then we'll show you how to actually install both of them. All right, so I threw on my ESD gear since we're going to be handling the parts, and I wanted to just do a quick close-up of some of the network cards. And again, there are plenty of network cards. Um, this is just a few that are featured. And also, I should note, if you're on our website and you're uh, building out a, a DL360 Gen 9 and uh, you see a card that we don't have listed because there are so many it's hard to list all of them definitely contact our sales team we can customize and get you whatever you want um, but again it's, it's hard to list every possible scenario of every card out there so definitely just let us know if there's something we don't have on our site but the main thing I want to point out you have uh, your PCIe cards and you have your uh, flexible LOM over here or your FLOM as I like to say. Uh, with the FLOM I'm a big fan of it because they have their own designated port in the back um, so you don't have to waste a PCIe slot and so that to me is the biggest advantage of them and you can get um, quad port with the FLOMs uh, so that is an option for you. Uh, most of the ones that we have right here that you're looking at are all dual ports um, and then you have the two back here that are uh, your quads, but you can get quad port either way, uh, whether you're doing PCIe or you're doing uh, your FLOM, um, and then you've got a bunch of different interfaces that you can use as we discussed, and different speeds that you can use, so again, the combinations are kind of almost endless, um, and then one thing I do want to note, um, you do need to make sure if you are using the PCIe that you get the right bracket, um, There, there's uh, slots in the back for low profile and ho high profile, so just make sure that you get the right profile uh, in case you're using some of the uh, the other slots already. So, all right, now that we have just got a little bit of close-up, uh, seen a little bit more about them, I'm going to show you how to actually physically install both types right now. All right, so now I'm going to physically install both options for you. All you're going to need is your T10 screwdriver. Again, it's not your regular Phillips head, so I just want to point that out. Just make sure you have your T10 bit, okay? So uh, again, this is the FLOM. This is your PCIe, and we'll show you how to do both of them right now. I'm going to remove the riser. It makes it easier uh, to install the FLOM, so we're just going to go ahead and take our riser out right now. So uh, before you can actually install it, there's a metal piece back here that you're going to need your T10 bit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and unscrew this to start. So that'll be the first thing that we need to do. And once you do that, you can physically remove this so that you have space for your card. And then once you actually plug your card in, you're going to screw it down. So we just need to line everything up. So we're going to come in here and we're going to push this through and get this lined up right here where the leads are in and to actually physically install our FLOM. And one thing I want to note, sometimes pushing this right here is kind of a pain and it's very difficult to get the pressure in. And you'll notice right now, I'm like my fingertips aren't doing it. So you might have to use this, which isn't an ideal scenario, uh, but just letting you know, you might have a little bit of a tough time getting this in, but you'll hear it clip into place and you physically have installed your FLOM. 
we need to physically uh, screw this down. So this will just screw to the motherboard right here. And once you get it nice and tight, we're officially done and we have installed our FLOM and really it's a pretty simple process overall. The one thing I always uh, say it's a little bit tough to get the pressure because it's a tight squeeze back here to actually get the leads in but outside that it's a, a very easy install overall. So while we're uh, already got our riser out we're going to go ahead and install our PCIe card. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and install our PCIe version. So first thing we need to do is to remove this right here. Uh, which honestly just pushes right out uh, so you just move this out we will need to remove this screw right here to actually install our card so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, before we install our card so we're just gonna uh, take the same T10 bit that we've been using and we're just gonna unscrew this right here I'm gonna put it right on top of our power supplies for now and then we're just gonna bring our card over here so now we need to take our card and put the tip in and line up the leads and that's uh, essentially all we're going to need to do so just line this up properly get your leads in and it'll just click into place it's nice and simple and then we're going to get our screw back on our bit over here and set this down for a second and we're going to actually lock it into place even though it's into place but uh, we'll lock it a hundred percent into place all right so now we're just going to screw this back into place so um, nice and simple process overall. Um, videos like this definitely will help you uh, to get this done. But again, uh, pretty simple installs, uh, just following the appropriate steps. So now, all right, so now that we have this uh, fully in, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our riser. So just line everything up appropriately and then just get this clicked back into place. And uh, really, you can see overall, so now it's nice and flush. You can see overall this is a pretty uh, simple process uh, and definitely something that's pretty easy to do. Um, if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom-built HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Dell, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.